Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Friday and another rendition of Meal Prep Mania. Dancing today. So it was a short week this week. It's Friday and you know Labor Day put us off a little bit. So I have two healthy recipes for you this week. They're both easy peasy. One's in the crock pot, one's in the instant pot. Don't fret if you don't have either of those, but let's get started. So the first is a beef and veggie crock pot roast. So this is super easy. It's filled with um, a chuck roast steak that you brown on the saute pan before throwing in and tons of veggies. So it just takes a little bit of prep time to cut everything up. But once you do, you literally dump everything in the crock pot. 10 hours later, you have such a tender, delicious, shreddable um, pot roast. So an option that you could do, if you like your veggies a little bit al dente, which means firmer, which is how I like them, you can put them in. Instead of dumping them in all at once, if you have the capability to dump them in five hours in, I would just do it halfway through. That way they're not as tender because they get quite cooked uh, after 10 hours. Another option is that when you're done, you're going to have some nice broth. Instead of um, just leaving the broth as is, like I did, you could also add a tablespoon, start with a tablespoon of cornstarch and stir it up and that will thicken it a little bit more like a gravy as opposed to a broth. I personally left it as a broth so it was more like a stew. Um, but either way, you, I would start with a tablespoon of cornstarch and then move up from there to your desired preference of thickness. Um, another easy option, instead of making your own gravy with the Worcestershire sauce and the, that's a hard thing to say, and the beef bouillon, you can literally just buy some reduced sodium beef broth and throw it in there, a can of that, bada bing, bada boom, way easier. But, you know, some people like to make their own. I did. So, super good. It's about 560 calories per serving, about 24 grams of carbs if you want to reduce that. I would just take out the sweet potato because there's so many veggies in it, it's not necessary, but sweet potatoes are a good carb for you, and the rest of them contribute to the carbs as well, but they're veggies, so they're, they're healthy carbs for you. There's about 34 grams of fat, and that's from that pot roast, but then 37 grams of protein straight to the dome piece per serving. So head to BrieOCD.com for that recipe. Next up is delicious. This I really, really loved, and they were buffalo chicken meatballs. So these are low-cal, low-carb, um, high-protein. So per bowl, they have about 98 calories, um, 6 grams of fat, one gram of carb, woohoo, and eight grams of protein per bowl. I usually eat four per serving, uh, and you can serve that with some baby carrots, some celery, a little bit of like Walden Farms blue cheese dressing or some light blue cheese or ranch dressing. And you can serve it with some cauliflower rice. Head to briocg.com for that recipe or white rice. And I personally did it with white rice and with that buffalo sauce on the rice, mixed it all up. Oh my God, it was really, really delicious. So really good for you. So now you saute these. This is in the Instant Pot. You can saute everything right in the Instant Pot. I personally don't like to do that. There's little bits when you saute that get stuck to the bottom. If you don't get those completely out, they're going to burn. And then you're going to have the Instant Pot malfunction. So I like to do it first on the stove top. So I saute on the stove top. And again, Brie OCD has step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. And then I dump everything in the Instant Pot before cooking. So you can do that. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can make these in the crock pot. Literally go through all the steps of browning and instead of dumping them in the Instant Pot, throw them in the crock pot on low for five hours. If you want to do them in the oven, follow all the browning instructions and throw them in the oven on 400 for 15 minutes. No big deal. They're going to taste great wherever you get them. Um, part of this, this um, recipe, it's gluten free, is almond meal. And I bought that at Trader Joe's. I didn't know if they were going to have it there. And it was literally right next to the nuts. All in that like nut section that they have. It's almond meal. So really, really easy. Super delicious. This is the healthiest meatball you're probably going to eat in a long time. And I think for next week I might try some like barbecue ones and something different. So stay tuned for those. So head to BrieOCG.com. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and make some beef and veggie crock pot roast 
and some buffalo chicken meatballs in the Instant Pot, stove top, or the oven, whatever your preference is. So I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Remember, you're listening to this video today on Friday. Saturday, you go grocery shopping, and Sunday, you cook, baby. Cook, meal prep, because that is the key to success. Preparation. So prepare everything, and you will lead a healthy life. So make those meals, go get your workouts in, and let's go. Meal prep mania, we out.